More and more young people in western New York are abusing heroin and painkillers. And today, a group of parents held a forum to bring awareness to this epidemic. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Justin Moore has more from Lancaster High School. Uh, I, I lost my mind. So, but it's okay. It's okay. This Buffalo dad tries to hold back tears while talking about his son's tragic death. He's, he was my only son, my only child. Um, it's just every day is, uh, it never goes away. David Edick's 30 year old son, Benjamin, died in July. He was found in his car after relapsing and overdosing on heroin. Had you told me my son was using heroin six months ago, I would have said, You're out of your mind. I, I had no idea, but uh, once I found out, I immediately tried to help him. But uh, uh, heroin is much bigger than all of us. Parents like David are angry. That's why they're starting a movement to put the heroin epidemic to rest. People need to realize that this can happen to you. As per se, painkillers can turn into an addiction, and those who can't afford them usually turn to heroin for a quick fix, which could be deadly. I think the difference is when it comes to heroin, it's a lethal kind of cocktail, a lethal substance that can kill you within a very, very short period of time. Stash show heroin is popular among young people. So far, 25 people have died in Niagara County this year from the drug. So how can we get a handle on this? We're going to continue to go after the doctors, the nurse practitioners, those who put the prescriptions illegally into the hands of people. And if you're a heroin Heroin Traffer, I can tell you right now, we're coming after you with everything we got. In Lancaster, Justin Moore, 7 Eyewitness News.